right, y'all, we are. And if you want to know who my man Drew Allen is, all you have to do is look at a couple of throws, right? He's going through the entire game of the throws, right? Just really showing off in the game against West Virginia. You get this particular concept here. Uh, you're going to get a runoff by Keandre Lambert Smith here. You get this out route by Trey Wallace, right? When you see this triangle type coverage, right? You know you're going to have that overhang defender. They're in 12 personnel, so he's going to be sniffing the box, right? He's going to be approaching the box. At the very least, he's going to play flat-footed just in case he has to help with that run because you know that run game is always going to mash their potatoes. Pause. Got to pause that, right? With the run game like that in vogue, you had this overhang defender. He's already leveraged. You get that vertical bell, right? They're working with some type of quarters coverage or some type of co coverage where – uh, you have a third of the field or a quarter of the field out on the outside. So it's going to be working vertically. So you know that's going to be in vogue if he's standing flat-footed and you have a route that's coming right underneath that. You get what I'm saying there? Or uh, if you're Drew Aller, all you have to do is what you do. And you can see him right here opposite has and Jaka. Come on, man. You know it ain't top billing if I don't do one of these opposite has throws right from a highly touted QB like my man Aller here. You see him on the pool. Right, right off that hash foot, right on the hash right there. Uh, soft cushion here, right? So this is something that I saw when they were running with their heat tempo pace. Uh, he was up there calling the game from the line of scrimmage, uh, audible into some of these now routes and some of these leverage screens. Uh, he's able to do that. If you have that type of spacing right there, they're gonna run you off, make you have to defend as wide as you do vertical. Think about that. Nasty. We can see it from this standpoint right here from Wallace and Smith. Lambert Smith on that run out there. My man has to worry about that vertical portion because if this were some type of route to where uh, your man Lambert Smith was going somewhere in his direction, sail route or something like that, he had to worry about that as well. So he's already has that early pandemic separation, right? Because he's scared vertically. Right? The coverage is scared vertically. You see it right there. Six feet at least at all times. Early pandemic separation. And Jakob, right, look at that. He ain't have to do nothing. Just pluck it out the sky with your hands right there. And it's all to the good. Which led to this. Now I want you to look at my man right here, right? Drew Aller, true sophomore, not much experience at all. Uh, especially in, in pressure pack situations like an opening game here against West Virginia. Now, I understand West Virginia may not be a good team at all. No doubt about that. But listen... If it's not a good team, you want to take them bitches out to the woodshed and digging them buns, right? And that's exactly what Penn State was doing. So Drew Aller here, as you can see, uh, probably some type of sight adjust or something. You see him motioning your boy tight, right? Motion Ke Keandre Lambert Smith in the tight, right? Motion the tight here. Take that snapshot. I think he's going to be uh, back to the basket, play action fake. Look at the scissors concept and... Jacob, look at the product placement in the back of the end zone. That was hard. I had to jump up off my seat when I was watching this bad boy, especially coming from under center, right? You know me, baby. I'm all about pro-style concepts, pro-style quarterbacks, pro-style run schemes. Look at that. Back to the basket, play action fake, show and go right there. Show and go to my man Katron Allen. Uh, you can see right here that late cross action, right? Late cross Ashton's gonna look like some scissors right there. Sipping on some scissors. Right? <laughs> they were sipping on some scissors. And then my man right in the back of the end zone, dropping in the birth bucket is absolutely pitch perfect. My man doing the damn thing, right? See it from Lambert Smith's direction right here. These guys don't know where to go right here, right? They would have to banjo up off of this, probably, but probably can't do that. All right, on the fly there. You can see McLean, Lambert Smith here. And that joint is hard. Everybody goes with the inside portion of this right here just to lead this man to something so pretty. And oh, bang, over the shoulder, Ken Griffey style right here. Oh, my God. Nasty. Yo, top billing. Jersey Murph back again, partnering up with the great folks over at DraftKings who once again have a steal of a deal. They told me to tell you once again, new customers signing up for that sports book, that DraftKings Sportsbook app can get $200 in bonus bets with a $5 bet. 
A $5 bet can get you $200 in bonus bets instantly. And all you have to do is head on over and download that DraftKings Sportsbook app. Enter the promo code top billing and get to playing. It's going to be super fun. And no matter what, they have you covered. If you don't have online wagering in your state, it does not matter. DraftKings Daily Fantasy is where it's at. That bad boy is fun. I try to dabble in that there. Five will get you 200 for new customers using that promo code top billing at the DraftKings Sportsbook app. And you haven't already done so? What are you waiting for? Don't do it now, but right now. Let's go. All right, y'all, you know when I watch football, I usually watch with the sound off, right? I ain't trying to hear these goofy-ass announcers and stuff. But I saw my man Todd Blackledge, Penn State's own Todd Blackledge, and I had to listen to my boy, right? But I think Todd Blackledge may be trying too hard or something. He was saying something like, you see, ooh, look at that. That's nasty. Look at that early pandemic separation, Dr. Fauci-style separation, immediately from Keandre Lambert-Smith right here on the dig, right? Look, chicken fighting stage. Nasty. Sticks that foot in the ground. Look, he got my man right here reaching out for a hug. He was like, already right, like, shit, I'm done. Let's just hug it out. I don't want no more, right? My man reaching with a hug, a two-hand jam, looking absolutely goofy. Doesn't get anything but space, air, and opportunity. Immediate separation. And Drew Aller puts it right on him. This is not on Drew Aller. If this can hit you in your hands right here, right? Not a perfect throw by any stretch of the imagination, but you should be expected to catch this, man. I'm sorry. It's not like you had to leave your feet or anything like that. You plucked that up out the sky, right? In certain aspects, Lambert Smith was looking like Jahan Dotson out there. And then aspects like this, not so much. He was looking like Justin Shorter or somebody like that. Come on, man. He's got to get that. That To me, that was a, a good enough throw. You could consider it low in the way, if anything. So my man Lambert Smith had a couple of these, but he had a nasty monster game doing exactly what I expected him to do. All right, play action's always going to be a young QB's best friend. And if you want to be a good play action team, you have to pull those guards, right? You got Vega right here on the pull. You got that front-facing play action fake to Kate Tron Allen here. And watch how quickly my man Drew Aller has an exit plan and leads the defense with exit wounds. Look at this. Oh, this is the aspect that reminds me of Justin Herbert and Jakob. Look at the product placement right there. Absolutely pitch perfect. Look, pulling Vega, front facing play action fake here, immediately sees that void. All right, right off Theo Johnson there, sees that void. Knows that this is a little bit longer developing routes right here. Coming up out, looks like that's going to be an out route here. And my man's able to deliver off that back leg from way downtown. Bang, as my man Mike Breen would say. The athleticism, the pocket maneuverability, the pocket mobility, everything right there is there for that dude. This guy could be a future number one overall pick. For everybody who wanted a Justin Herbert or wanted a Trevor Lawrence type, here you go again. As always, you have to give props. My man Mike Yurchich is in his bag. I love Mike Yurchich's run schemes. Uh, of course, I love that man's ability to manufacture, right? You see right here, the Liam Clifford. This looks like it's going to be a screen. They had ran a screen before previously, uh, and they were doing that off of an audible. So if you get this right here, and then you get kind of a stuttering go as well here on the back end. So this definitely looks like the bones of a screen, right? Looks like that look off now screen right here. You suck the defense up, pause with a, with a stop and go here, and then he hits. Oh, who is that? Is that Cephas? Looks like it is Dante Cephas right here on the stutter and go because the stutter portion was looking like, of course, he was going to block for that screen. Suck the defense up. Get their attention out here. You see it? Sucked up, sucked up, sucked up. Running them right behind that right there. And, of course, Drew Allen's going to deliver right there off his back leg. And, oh, doesn't even have to really set his feet. And can get the ball to all quadrants of the field. All right, y'all. Your boy Jersey Murph has to get up out of here. But listen, I wanted to give you guys a quick jab. We could come with some knockout punches right uh, later on in the week. I wanted to talk about the defense and some of the defensive performances that I saw. Uh, man, I saw some great play out in the defensive backfield. 
Of course, you know the front seven is going to be nasty. Literally, with NFL players all over both sides of the ball, it's absolutely incredible uh, what my boy Coach Franklin has built out there in State College. So I'll come back with that. But that's only if you guys are sharing this, right? Penn State fans sitting on their hands and shit. You can't be doing that. You need to be sharing because sharing is caring, right? So if you care, make sure you share. And uh, make sure you tell everybody that top billing is where it's at. Tell a friend to tell a friend that top billing is where it's at if you want some of the best Penn State coverage, all right? So I wanted to talk about my man Mike Yurchich right quick uh, to get up out of here because I loved what I saw from him as far as formation and people to death. You get those constricted formations. Uh, you get FIB's formation into the boundary. Uh, you get something like this where you got them super spread out, right? Spread out damn near. You got... Uh, plus splits right from the numbers and everything he was showing them everything it had them scared third and six right you supposed to guard the sticks if you weren't about a touchdown on third and six they can still get a touchdown if they convert on third and six so you see right here liam clifford he ends up kind of running a little bit of uh interference <laughs> you know what i'm saying when you get this slant route here by your boy malik mcclain who i'm still flabbergasted as how he's not on florida state and he's with penn state running with the good fellas so that's hard right there and uh man you can see this pretty much the rest is all she wrote if you're not guarding the sticks as a matter of fact let's look at it from this angle right here if you're not guarding the sticks look at this Working them at the sticks right there. You can already see the runoff. Look how far these guys are back. And you don't spread everyone out so there's nobody else over here. Nasty. Mike Yurchis was playing with these boys. And look at that. Penn State ain't playing. Lynn Clifford out there getting this block going right there. Malik McClain will do the rest. Bang. Look at that. Backhanded that man a little bit to his face mask, right? Backhanded him a little bit to his face mask like, like a tie out right there. He probably got like a 7% grade concussion to match his jersey number right there. And that was all she wrote. So I saw a lot of things that I like right there. And I saw a lot of the things on defense that needs to improve. But everything is there as far as the personnel goes. Like I said before, littered with NFL personnel on both sides of the ball. It should be a special year for Penn State, baby. So let me know, man, what you think out there. Of course, I wanted to get a little wet the appetite with you. Pause. Got to pause that. Wet the appetite with Drew Aller here. And uh, come back with more. Uh, we'll talk about the run game and all kinds of stuff, right? So if you're still watching this bad boy, right, I got to give you guys a little bit in spurts because I don't know you like that. But, man, make sure you contact me if you want to get down in that Discord. Where we, you know what I'm saying? If you're not in the business, you're just a fan who want to talk football a little bit with a few good men and, and women, uh, make sure you contact me in the comment section and uh, we can get that started right there, right? If I feel that you're that type of person, all right? But it's your boy, Jersey Murph. Shout out to South Jersey. Shout out to the entire Jersey period. I rep Jersey, baby. So uh, shout out to everybody out there in Western Pennsylvania, <laughs> Central Pennsylvania. Shout out to the entire Pennsylvania and Delaware. Everybody who's supporting Penn State, all right? Salute. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.